Hello everybody, Trey here. I want to talk a little bit about uh, my vain, gloriously named Trey's Photomatics presets. I was going to show you how to install them, how to work them, and maybe a few little HDR tips along the way. And as always, feel free to pop over to stuckincustoms.com. We have this perennial free HDR tutorial, which is in here, and all kinds of fun stuff for you to learn how to use this stuff and see how easy it is. And I'm glad so many people love it as much as I do. It is just a fantastically fun thing. And of course, um, uh, I still use Photomatics. Um, currently, it's the best thing out there. And, uh, but you know, stay tuned over on the website if anything new comes up. I'm always trying to stay on the latest trends and all that good stuff, so I'll, I'll keep you covered. All right, so let's jump into it. Now you have downloaded the presets. All right, here's how you open them up. Okay, here's volume two. Works the same way for volume one. Uh, just double click it to unzip it or use your favorite unzipping program. You'll go inside and you'll see that we have all these various XMP files. These are the presets, okay? How do you get them into Photomatics, you're wondering? Well, this is how you do it. Well, the first step is you got to get Photomatics up and loaded with some images. You can go about this any way you want to. I'm going to take these three images here and load them into Photomatics, okay? So I'm going to drag them right there, right on top. Many ways to skin this cat. Of course, you can open up Photomatics first and load the images in this dialog. Uh, we're just going to go about it like this. We'll say align and merge to HDR. Now, prior to doing this, I cleared out all my presets out of Photomatics so you can see what it looks like from scratch. As you can see, we don't have any presets at all, so I'm going to click up here on Import Presets. Okay. Then I'm going to go navigate to that area that I was just in. Here I have a test space. Trace Photomatics Presets Volume 2. What you do now after you collect the directory is you click on the first file and you go down to the bottom and then you shift click on the bottom file. All right, just like that. Then I will click Import. All right, it says OK. And they all magically appear right here, just like this. Now, this is sort of a bug I've noticed with. Um, Photomatics for some reason. I can't quite scroll through them on first import. I don't know what's going on. It's like a UI thing. So now we're going to quit it and come back in. All right. So let's actually work on a photo now, shall we? Let's take these three photos. Okay, this is uh, from um, a few weeks ago in Dubai. We have a dark, medium, and bright. Okay. So let's take these three and we're going to bring them into Sweet Lady Photomatics. Here we go. We are rolling. Say online and merge to HDR. Now we do a patient little wait, wait. And here we are. I think you're gonna love volume two of these presets. I've basically taken volume one and I took my four or five favorite ones of those and really improved and explored on those themes. So you get all kinds of variety in here. And actually often, one of my favorite ones is this first one that always appears, a hopeful smile, which you can see right here. So if you wanna look at the before and after, let's jump over to Lightroom. So that's before, that's just the basic middle raw uh, to after, fantastic. And I use this a lot for um, just experiments and clicking around to see what different styles look like. Of course, you can go as extreme as you want to. And generally, the further you go down, like the more uh, druggy it gets, like this one, drugs are fun. Um, the prawn stash, walking HDR red, all kinds of stuff. Um, really different looks for different situations. You might notice some of these work great at night. Uh, some might work better in the daytime. Some might work good in mixed indoor outdoor situations. But we'll just go here with a hopeful smile. I will say apply. Okay, just like that. There's one final thing that I often do is I use this finishing touch and I'll go in and I'll make it medium sharpening on that one. Okay, perfect. It makes it super duper sharp. Amazing. So let's just go back and forth between the two. Um, this is the Lightroom one, and this is the final version. All right. So let's work on another one. All right. Let me just close that one up and save. Uh, let's go back into Lightroom here. Let's go back into the grid view, and let's pull open uh, uh, this one. There's another one from Dubai. From that. Actually, this is an, another trip to Dubai. So I'm going to drag these into Photomatics. All right. Say OK. Okay, online and merge to HDR. So now we can click around and try some different ideas in here. There's both of True Dark, 
uh, morning at home. Underoos moist, doesn't look so good. Um, maybe for this one, let's try Siegfried on roids. Now, let me tell you something interesting about Photomatics in that a lot of times in this preview window, it looks like super noisy, doesn't it? It looks like a big, big mess. But that's because it uses a slightly different algorithm here in the preview. So if I click apply, the final version will actually be fine with no noise. And there's the after version. As you can see, there's no noise at all to speak of. So this is before and after, before and after. What a huge difference. And it only took like, you know, 25 seconds. What a deal. Okay, let's work on another one. Uh, let's work on a daytime one. All right, I'm gonna show you a hot tip here. All right, so this is from Antarctica. We have a, uh, a dark uh, medium and a bright one. Now I've got some lint and stuff on my sensor up here, so just try to ignore that. We can clean that up later. Uh, but we've got these three images here, and this is when I was hiking over to a glacier in the dry valleys. Um, here we go, then I'll say okay, okay, align and merge to HDR. So what you're gonna notice when this actually comes up is that it feels a little yellow or orange or super warm, okay? And whenever you see that happen, um, there's an indication that your white balance was probably set incorrectly. Do you see how kind of like orangey and yellow this is? And you really don't want your, your ice uh, to be this color, right? So it's kind of too late to do much about it now. You can play a little bit with the temperature slider, but that tends to make it kind of more purpley than anything, which is so great. So what you want to do is change your white balance before you even get into Photomatics, okay? So let me quit this. I'll quit Photomatics. I'm going to drag them back into Photomatics. All right, then I'll say OK, OK. And then let's just change this to daylight. We're going to change the, the white balance to daylight, OK? And you know, I, by the way, if you guys want to get the full HDR tutorial, uh, there's a video one where I go through all this stuff very slowly. You know, I show you all the little dialogues all the other post-processing tricks, um, all that kind of stuff. It's, uh, it's many, many hours. You get all my raw files. It is a lot of fun. Okay, so now when we pop into Photomatics, you're gonna see it looks just much better, right? It's nice and blue, as it should be, all right? So if you do find out your shots are getting a little orangey-orange, just uh, be sure to go in and, and change around that white balance for you. Oh, that looks pretty cool. Drugs are fun. Um, Wow, these look really cool, don't they? There's so many neat ones. I can't choose, I can't choose. This one's called You'll Regret Clicking This. As you click around, it really depends on your mood and your style of HDR. You can do really hardcore stuff like projectile deep, <laughs> projectile HDR, or go with something more mild, you know, like your parents know, or Nooner Pants. Uh, Double Rainbow is always pretty mild. So is a kitten kiss. Um, and remember too, if you see one that you kind of like, but you want to adjust it a little bit, you can also adjust it, sort of a starting off point. So this one, uh, why don't we just take the local contrast and drop it down a little bit to the left, to make it a little less extreme. You know, get to dial it up however you want to. Then we'll say apply. Then we'll do our final sharpening here, medium sharpening. Say done. All right, let's look at before and after. Here's the before, and here is the after way better except for my dirty dirty sensor okay let's look at another one uh, let's look at one last one here okay uh, let's go for this one okay so this is this crazy market um, let me see here so let's go ahead and just drag it here into photomatics and we'll just look at one more quick look here okay and here we are inside you can see uh, what a cool subject this is I think um, I kind of like this hair sparkle fest. That looks pretty good. Um, projectile HDR is pretty extreme. Strap on cowgirls, also pretty extreme. That one is mega extreme. You know, whatever you're into. I mean, even this one looks kind of cool in a subtle way. Um, there's all kinds of ideas. Some just don't look good. I mean, Nooner Pants looks good for other ones, but not this one. It really depends on the situation. That's why I have such a variety in here. Yeah, let's go into Hair Sparkle Fest. All right. Do a final sharpening and say done. All right, then we'll look at a before and after. Let's switch over to bridge here. So this is before and this is after. Before, after. 
is so much more vibrant and alive with sweet, sweet HDR. All right, well, there you go. Uh, there's a few different examples for you and some ideas. I hope you have a great time with these presets. I hope they open up your mind and help you be creative and help you to experiment and just have fun with this crazy new art form that we're all engaging in. So anyway, thank you very much. And let me know if you need anything at all. All right, thank you. Bye.